This is a boat I recently picked up. It's the Alumacraft Competitor 175. Got it about three weeks ago. And this is going to be my first time fishing with it. And we're going to go out for some largemouth bass on a clear lake and near Big Rapids, Michigan, just east of Big Rapids. Fun guys. Come on, Brent. God, girls. You guys are good girls. Ready to go fishing? Yeah, okay. Jennifer, my wife, and I went out last night boating, and we had ice in the cooler, and it melted, and it, the plug for the cooler, when you take it out, it just goes right into the bilge. And uh, that is what that is about, but I do want to make sure there's no water in here, because I just had a valve replaced for a live well aerator or pump supply water supply and it was cracked because it had frozen from the previous owner and I want to make sure that it's not leaking now, I do have that red plug in there uh, because first thing I'm gonna do is make sure that nothing is leaking like whatever like make sure everything's tight um, and then the next time I go and I'll remove that red plug that is where that valve was that broke that froze and then water was coming into the bilge come on guys come on guys come on get in there get in there picks come on get get in there while you stay in there what we're looking for and it kind of does a little bit of a an L it goes like if this were out in front of me it kind of goes across here then it does an L when it hits gets close to shore a little bit more here yeah dropping right off here pretty quick 14 all right, so this is a Texas rig here. We got our bullet sinker. We've got a bead, so it protects the knot a bit with this thing pounding down on it. And a red look, anything that looks like blood maybe works for me. Hook it in through the snout. In line, go up till it just starts to curve. Then I come back out. I go up, I try to cover all of this up here. And then I rotate, I want to straighten this out right here like that. And then I want to bring it back when I make it weedless. It might, with the red hook, it might look like it's bleeding a little bit. Maybe, okay, so we're in 13 feet of water. And this is my first official cast. I don't expect a lot. <laughs> In fact, I cast it on the wrong side of the boat. <laughs> I should know better than that. Yeah, that's a lot better cast there. All right, so we are in 13.4 feet of water. We're gonna just let that fall real nice. Okay. 
Okay, we need to loosen the drag up a bit. Well. Oh yeah, we got a fish already, bud. There was a bite anyway. Maybe just a little bopper. Sometimes those little fish like to play around with it. Shouldn't say we got a fish, we had a bite. Go, bud. That's your first fish, guys. That's a biggie. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, just let it play itself out. That's a nice fish. doesn't want to come up though <laughs> right pricks keeping my keeping an eye on things <laughs> oh yeah nice fish probably my first keeper not that I'm gonna keep it I always throw it back but first legal fish oh that's a beautiful fish look at that Look at that, for Clear Lake, that's a nice looking fish right there, yeah, and they get bigger, but uh, no picks, no, no, don't worry, you'll get a chance, you'll get a chance, that's a nice fish. That was a solid fish right there. What do you think, huh, bud? That's a nice looking fish, huh? We should measure him out. See what we get. I still got it. All right. Seventeen, maybe, with the tail squeezed. Do that again. Well, 16 and a half anyway. Beautiful fish. Beautiful. Want to see that, Brady? There you go, bud. All right, we're going to let him go. And there you go, guy. There you go. Get out of the way, Pix. Get. Go on. It wants to jump. <laughs> what do you think, Pix? Looks pretty good. Not going anywhere. All right, get out of the way, Pix. Get. Pix, move. Pix, hey. Hey. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Away. Oh, 
<laughs> you wanna see what's going on? I don't want to get that hook in your face. We got it all investigated now. What do you think? That's about a 14, I'd say. Well, maybe 14 anyway. So that would have been two tonight, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get it released, okay? All right. All right, let her go, and there we go. Like, all right, I'm using six inch night crawlers green pumpkin gulp, Berkeley gulp. Okay, I don't even think you get these anymore, they've been in my storage forever. I only managed to move around in this area, I've only been you know, I've been resetting myself and moving a little bit deeper, a little bit shit. Well, actually, I was deeper, I moved shallower. Then I just found this contour, this 20 foot drop off, and if I go out a bit, you can kind of see I started here, moved over here, and then I just went following this contour right here. Let that fall on slack line, and it'll kind of do a vertical drop right in the weeds. Uh, um, that might get you a hit right there. And then you just kind of start pulling it through the weeds. And that weed this won't hook up. You just, probably the slower the better, really. The slower the better. So I'm trying this, what I'm calling the yellow jacket. It's a Luz MP30. It's a Mach Pro. Um, came with a different rod, but as soon as I took and uh, put line on it and put a little pressure on the rod, it busted right at the top, about the third, third eye. It's a seven foot rod. Um, I had the other, I had the red reel on this pole here uh, a while ago, but thought I'd try this reel out and see if I liked it. And I do, I like it. It's a nice reel. This uh, rod is the, the Bionic Blade and Mass Pro Shops. It's only six and a half feet. It's six and a half, probably medium to medium heavy. Medium probably is more my style, but seven foot rods give you a little more leverage. And uh, they can throw the bait farther. I've always been a, a deep, more of a deeper water fisherman. I don't really tend to like Getting up in the slop and the lily pads is just frustrating me. It just frustrates me to no end. But I do like being in the uh, deeper water, I like more vertical fishing. Even though I'm horizontal with fishing, I'm casting it out, but the deeper water, I, I tend to have more confidence in that, more luck. I get into that, those lily pads and that, those weeds. And yeah, I know there's a lot of fish I'm getting a bite there. I just hit a weed, I don't know what it was there. I might just hit a weed. So I haven't fished since uh, 2017, 2018. I can't remember, whenever I sold my boat. I had a smoker craft boat. And I sold it and I bought a canoe. And started paddling the rivers in Michigan. And then I missed fishing boat did stress me out a little bit but I know and I know my wife really likes to go boating so you know we're getting at that age where she deserves to be able to have fun too and just like me so I thought it was the right time to get a boat again so we mutually agreed on that and about three weeks ago I bought this boat and uh, it was used um, I, other than some new vehicles, I don't really, I haven't really bought things that are new. 
I bought my the smoker craft was new. I bought that, but you just get a lot better value when you buy used. You all right? Well, it can't be too bad you're laughing about it. <laughs> Cut her off, okay. <laughs> What a great first time fishing with the boat. Couldn't have been happier with how things turned out. The dogs and I had a great time on this late July 2023 summer evening. And uh, with the number of fish that were caught and just vetting out the boat and the equipment, couldn't have been more pleased. So with that, uh, I wanna thank you for stopping by the channel, checking this video out. We can add fishing to the channel here since I have the equipment to do so now and uh, that makes me uh, really happy. So uh, again, thank you and until next week, take care.